Hey guys, Jasmine here of Ring Round One Gaming. It is storming outside, so if you hear a lot of thunder and or drippy drops, it's raining. Uh, which is both nice and not nice, because it's hot. But maybe the rain will cool it down, so maybe they'll work in, like, tangent. However, I figured it'd be kind of fun to, during this downtime, to try and react to some of my old videos. There are so many that I want to react to. Let me just get that out there. There are so many that I want to react to. But a lot of them I can't react to. Like, or just not in one single video. Because it would be like a five hour video of me just sitting here watching my old videos. So if you guys want to see more videos of this kind, just let me know in the uh, comments down below. And I'll try and make that happen for you so that you can see more but there were so many whenever I first um, was looking up videos so these might just span across a couple of years or you know like there's just a, a few different ones that I chose but I figure I can't start at all without starting with the very first video that I actually made so we'll get into that uh, we'll go ahead and watch this I'm sorry for the weird like out like outlay the way that my screen is all set up, the way that you guys see it, it was literally the only way I could see how doing it because uh, a lot of times I've noticed if I have my camera on the side, like I'll move like like ever so slightly one way or the other, and then I'm just not on camera anymore. So sorry. <laughs> um. Also, if the video inside of this video isn't loud or is too loud, I'm really sorry. I'm gonna try and turn it up a little bit so I may pause the video that I'm watching so I can speak so it's not like a thing because I've also noticed that the program that I'm using doesn't like to record the on-screen stuff very loudly even if I have it turned up more so we'll see hopefully though it doesn't like deafen you uh, but yeah as I said this is my very very first Let's Play here on YouTube. It was Let's Play The Sims 1 Part 1. Sarah. Which is interesting. Sorry, I'm reading my uh, thing. Part 1 of my beginning LP. A boring night turns into one of pure nostalgia. Also, sorry about the volume. <laughs> sorry about any volume. It's funny, like, what was this? When was this posted? Um, 2015? It's 2017, and I'm still, like, apologizing for volume stuff. Um, but uh, many of you who knew whenever I started, I used the oldest mic in the world also. You'll be able to hear the difference uh, in my videos as we go on, or as, if you've already heard the differences. But, yeah, I literally used one that you had to push, talk, and then let go, and you are done talking, so it didn't record all the other noise. But it was, like, this little bitty little thing. It was great. Uh, hey everybody, this is Melody C 107, and this is gonna be my let's play of The Sims 1. As you can see, I'm in neighborhood one right now. He's got the newbies and the gods, and I've seen a lot of playthroughs and everything where people use this neighborhood. So I'm all right. All right. Before I let it continue, um, this intro that I did where I started in the first neighborhood was uh, premeditated. <laughs> um, I always knew that I wasn't going to use the first neighborhood because I've always had the same idea as to where this Sims 1 series was going to go, but I wanted people to like be like, oh, you know, look at her being so interesting. She's not going to be typical and do this. And then I thought that was such a cool idea that I added it in. And now I'm just like, ah, that was so stupid. I'm not going to use this neighborhood. I know, I know. Like, I love the goths and all that as much as everyone else. But I have, in fact, decided to not play them just because I always have a chance of playing them in another Sims game or somewhere else that I end up, you know, going. I'm so clever. I'm just going to skip forward through parts of these videos only because I realize as I've gone further throughout my Let's Plays, I talk more. And some of my old Let's Plays, I didn't talk as much. 
because getting used to talking to, well, yourself, I mean, even though I talk to myself, like, on the regular, like, not making videos, whenever you're, like, trying to be entertaining, a lot of times, you like, I'll just, like, blank, and I'll just be playing the game. <laughs> so, I'm just, I will be skipping through parts of these videos, and also to try and cut down on time, so I'm sorry I keep, like, not bringing you out of it, out of the experience, but I hope that you guys are enjoying it anyway. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let me just... It's the story of my life. Click a little faster. I know there's, like, replicas of the same outfit in here because of, like, a meshing thing that I just never fixed. I still haven't um, fixed it. Like, like that. Like how there's nobody there. <laughs> Ain't got yeah. nobody. I'll probably eventually fix that, but not until it becomes annoying, so... It has become beyond annoying. And I still haven't fixed it, because I don't know how to fix it. I mean, I, I know that I could technically, like, clean out my Sims 1 downloads folder, but my gosh, do I have so many downloads, I am not even going to get into that. Like, when I got my new computer, I just took, like, I had, like, three or four, like, CDs, like, discs, and... Because that's how you transferred things back in the day. If you didn't have enough money to get your whole hard drive moved over by a professional, you just put them on like little discs or DVDs or CDs. And I had like three or four of them just full of downloads. And I just copied them over when I first got my computer. Now they're on a second. I have a, um, an external hard drive now as well, but they're on that. But I literally didn't even reinstall them. I just took the downloads folder and then just moved it over. Like the entire... Whenever you go into, like, your program files and all that kind of stuff, and you see, like, Maxis and The Sims, I just took that entire folder and put it on here. So all I do is I'll reinstall the game, and then I'll just replace the folders that need to be replaced. Because it's faster for me, and I don't feel like having to re-download everything. <laughs> also, you're going to hear a lot of noise from this door. Well, maybe not a lot of noise, but it's open. Because my cat's in the closet. Because apparently my cat doesn't like storms. And I didn't realize that until recently. Had this cat for like two years. Didn't know it was afraid of storms because it never acted like it. But now he's like hiding out in my closet. <laughs> Musical intermission. If you buy, the family will have 11... Was it 11,000? Two... 178 to spend on household items. Wow, why did it take me so long to read that? Your family will have 11 to 2,078 simoleons. Huh, that's true. Sorry, I love The Sims 1 music. The Sims 1 music is so good. That is true. Look how empty everything is. Now that you know that's so weird. I, like, in my previous, um, attempt, I think I have, like, a lot less money than that. That's so weird. That's so weird. I don't... I did! Okay, um, just saying, uh, because I had previously tried filming that exact, you know, not maybe that exact same thing, but basically I was doing, like, um... A let's play but I didn't quite know understand fraps at the time because back then I had temporary fraps so I had like the I had like the trial version kind of where you could only go up to 10 minutes that's why my uh, my my old videos are like 10 minutes each um, because then fraps would just cut out you know so but I didn't understand how to get my my voice recorded and so Whenever I first made this episode, I bought that same house with only one person, and I had way less money whenever I bought that house. And it was so strange, you know? So whenever I went back in and played with Sarah, I had way more money. And that's what I thought was pretty, uh, pretty nifty about that. Alright, um, I'm gonna go to the next video, just because, uh between now and the rest of the video is just me filling up this house with objects which you guys if you want to see it there'll be dis they'll like there'll be a, a link in the description that takes you there and I know we didn't focus too much on the actual 
episode and not a lot happened. But if you know anything about my LPs, not a lot of things happen each episode. So <laughs> that's just the thing. We'll just end it on the magic man coming in and leaving something. Mystery man. The mystery man? Yeah, the mystery man. I like the magic man better. But next we're going to go to Diablo, Lord of Destruction. Only because it's one of the videos or one of the video series that's also helped me get a lot of uh, viewers, uh, per se, like, maybe not, like, I don't know, subscribers altogether, but it's, it's actually led me to, like, friends, like, real people who, like, want to talk to me. I, like, I've even met people who now play that game with me, because it's always open. If you guys play Diablo 2, like, I know that there's way more people who play Diablo 3. I don't play Diablo 3, just because when I, whenever it first came out, it had like a lot of issues and I wasn't interested in it because there were so many people who were so negative about it so I was like eh let's not but um, Diablo 2 has always been like a staple so if you guys want to play Diablo with me or like Minecraft I'm always open for that and I could even open up like a little world that we could all you know go in not um, Xbox Minecraft but like PC Minecraft I gave my Xbox away. I should be getting another one um, at some point, but I gave mine away. But anyways, um, this uh, was called this series was like Let's Play Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. And the very I like I like that the name of my video was Beat It with a Stick because um, because. Um, like whenever you whenever you start out it usually just gives you like a club or a dagger or a sword and it's like the crappiest thing ever but my um my source my sorceress she started out with a staff but since it costs so much mana to use a fireball or to use an ice you know spell or anything like that and i usually don't start giving my um my characters uh points or stats until they reach like level 30 so that I know exactly where I want to like build things yeah you can always get them reset blah 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 I don't really care about none of that I mean I do but I don't it's just a habit that I have but um so basically I'm just running around like beating them over the head with my like cane <laughs> so um I thought that was pretty funny and I went ahead and like skipped forward so that we're not just sitting there listening to all the dialogue because that's basically what we'd be doing. Like I hate these things. They move so fast they just like run around you like you can't do anything about it. I'm I'm not positive. Uh yeah, I'm not positive, but I kind of think that by this oh, time yeah. Um, sorry, I, I, <laughs> I saw my mouse in the game moving around and I thought it was my mouse trying to pause the, the screen and I was like, why isn't it pausing? You're not even on it, duh. Um, but I think by this time in my video making thing, I had already got my, I had already gotten my, um, my old mic. My, my I used to use a Blue Yeti once I upgraded, so I went immediately from like this old clicky, terrible microphone that came from like the 90s to like a Blue Yeti because like, uh, you know, like back then, a Blue Yeti was like the top notch thing. Like everybody was like, oh my gosh, it's so great. And so that's what I went and got. And then now I've already gotten another mic and I um, gave the Blue Yeti away, but, um, well, I sold it, but still, not for much. I, like, because it was still brand new, but I sold it to someone that works at the Starbucks where I live for, like, $25. Um, but I think I had already switched over to this one. And I was thinking a thought, but I don't remember what I was thinking, so we'll just go back into this. I gotta say, these, these sorcerers, like, these people are so awesome. If something giant like that was coming at you, like that gargantuan, would you fight that? Or would you just be like, yeah, forget this? <sighs> yeah, 
forget this. I ain't fight. I ain't fight no monster. Like really? What? <laughs> I'm so stupid. Like, sorry, I'm chewing gum, so it's gonna probably be like whatever. I hope you guys like aren't like hearing just like the smacking in my mouth or something. Because uh, I don't know. Whenever I hear people chew, it just makes me want to punch them in the face. Like I might like you like so so much, but I will punch you in the face if you're just like like. I won't actually punch you in the face, but I'll definitely threaten to punch you in the face. Um, but I like how I was sitting there like, yeah, forget this, when really you would just be like, ah, 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 <laughs> because it's a giant monster thing, you know? Like, you definitely don't want to be like, in like this big dark cave thing and just see like this big open, <laughs> it's going to try and eat you, or whatever they're going to do to you throw you over their shoulder and make you one of them. But, uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna jump ahead here. Am I done? Just so I can nope, nope. find out that there are some monsters still alive. Usually it's always like the little red guys because you, they can get brought back to life. It was a little red guy. If I remember correctly. There he is, right there. What? Oh. I did. I did. I did. I did see that. Oh, I'm glad that I caught that. Why? How did I miss that playing this game? I like that my little annotation popped up. Wait, where are you going? That was, see, I was so into that, too. Like, using annotations for everything. Um. I've been everywhere. No, you haven't really. But whatever. Um. But, like, um, I used annotations for everything because I thought it was, like, the greatest thing ever because it was, like, it was, like, literally the things that I was thinking when I was editing the video, I just put in an annotation. Like, I'd have, like, a, what is it, um, Word, Microsoft Word open, and I would put in the time that I thought it, the time that I did something stupid, and what my thought was on it, and then I would just go open up annotations, find that time frame, put in my thought of what I thought, like, what I was thinking while editing the video, and it came out really funny. I always enjoyed it anyway. Um. I hear it. I knew it was right here. I knew you were here. No, you didn't. Obviously. But now I have to walk back, so. <laughs> yeah, now I have to walk this back. This cage has been purged of evil. This cage. This cage? Wow. This cave has been purged of evil. It's evil. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, it's just, it just, oh wow, we just apologized at the same time. That's great. Um, I'm so glad that it's like one of those things where I'm watching it and I'm thinking in the mindset of like other characters that I've been playing this game. Like, uh, what was it? Uh, what was his name? Bob! Oh, yay! I love Bob! Um, because I was... A base started. Um, but yeah, if you guys, even if, if there's anybody who actually followed this, uh, Diablo Let's Play, I had a character named Bob, and I think he played a druid, and he'd be like, um... What was, how, how did I do his voice? Um, what was it? Uh, hello, my, my name is Bob, and, and I'm a, and, and we're gonna go over here and we're gonna fight some evil. <laughs> oh, yay! Oh, I love Bob! I need to bring Bob back for other Let's Plays. I mean, I'm always gonna bring them back, because I also had Kabu, I think his name was, and Deckard as like an old dude, just he, he played the other characters. <laughs> the Staff of Kings. Um, yeah, I love it so much. It's, it's really fun to like play with different voices when you're like running around uh, playing a video game because it almost makes it feel like, I don't know, even better. Like you're just acting all the time, so you're not even yourself. You know, it's awesome. Anyways, I think it's about time we hop over to the next video, because I only got two more, and I think that's kind of cool. Um, the next one's going to be 
my personality Facebook game quiz thing. Only because I'm going to be a little bit, uh, I'm going to be, what is it, what's the word I'm looking for? It's almost like self-centered. I'm going to be a little bit narcissistic. That's what I'm going to say. The reason I chose this video is because I think it looks so good. <laughs> And it was one of the first, it was one of the first, like, actual vlog videos that I did where I, you got to see my face and my room and everything. There's, like, two or three more ahead of this one, and I might go back and look at those in another, uh, episode of this. But I, I, every time I see, like, the little thumbnail or, uh, and I didn't choose that thumbnail, that was just one that the, um, YouTube chose at the time. I didn't start doing thumbnails until I think last year maybe maybe the year before I don't know I think maybe last year um but there's just something about the way I look in the video that it almost doesn't look like me it looks like there's somebody who looks very much like me but isn't me I don't know plus it's it's not often that I do very very many like personality things like I mean yeah like at almost every single one of the questions videos I've done is a personality thing so it's not like I haven't done them but I just don't do that often I just talk about stuff I don't know It looks like I'm wearing, like, makeup, but I hardly ever wear makeup. Like, I know it would make me look so much better, probably. Like, there are so many people out there who are, like, amazing at makeup, and I want to get so good at it. I don't want to be like those people who have, like, the total cake face. Like, not to be derogative or anything or negative towards them. Like, I just want to have, like, a more natural appearance, but one that doesn't look like, man, you could use like some exfoliation stat <laughs> like I just wanna like look more natural but still pretty so maybe not a lot of makeup so not not some of those people who are like fantastic makeup artists and they have like the really cool uh, eyebrows and their makeups all like whoa. and because mostly because I also have a really really bad habit of like rubbing my eyes or my mouth or something like I really really do especially if I'm wearing makeup, I will definitely rub my eyes. And yeah, I know that there are like smudge proof and stuff, but not against me. I have the ability to make smudge proof, waterproof stuff just be un like un 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 those things unknown. They are they are smudge ing and waterproof. What I don't know what I'm saying anymore because things. Uh, I'm gonna jump forward in the video a little bit. And stop talking about how good I look, I guess, maybe? I don't know. I still agree with this 100%. I was talking about being afraid of, like, the ocean. Like, not so much, not so much being afraid of the ocean, like, as a water or, like, a body of an element or a place. But the fact that, like, I don't even like lakes or creeks or rivers. If I can't see what's underneath me or where I'm going... You can pretty much count on the fact that I'm either going to spend as little time as I can inside of it, or I won't go in there. You know, it's like, you go to those, or you don't really go to them, because I've not ever been, but I've seen, like, those pictures of, like, the beaches with, like, the, the crystal clear water, and it looks so great. What is happening? Sorry, like, somebody in, like, is causing, like, a catastrophe in the next room and I bet it's the cats um but like whenever you see like the crystal clear water that goes way out and you can just walk out into the water and it looks great and you can just have fun 
I could be okay with that. Even if there was a shark in the water, at least I could see it coming towards me and I would fight for my life before I died and got eaten up because sharks are super fast. However, if I'm going to be walking into a water like this deep, like that's not even like enough to cover up to your freaking, that's probably enough to get to your ankles. That's like ankle deep water. Um, well, maybe not. I guess it would be like right underneath your ankles. Whatever. I mean, I'm kind of tall, so still, like, if I can't see what's in the water, you can bet that I'm not going to go there. Like, I'm not going to spend time in water that I can't see into it. And, like, whenever giant things are underneath you, it scares me so bad. Like, I was watching Titanic, and... You know how, like, at the end, like, they're on that boat, and it's, like, sinking underneath, like, it's going down, and they're holding on, and then they let go at the last minute, but you can still see the boat sinking? Um, no. Like, that's even scarier. What if that thing, like, just the fact that it has that suction, it'll suck you under, and you can just watch the whole thing. Oh, it's like a ghost after it goes under the water. It's not even a thing anymore. It's, like, gone. <laughs> it's so scary. Although... It's always been a fantasy of mine to find, like, a, a sunken treasure ship, and you go in there and there's just gold and stuff everywhere. That'd be so cool, but also, um, no. I, you didn't ha it got me going. <laughs> it had me going. It really, really did. Because I was looking at myself and I was like, really? I was like, who was I in love with? I don't remember being in love with anybody. <laughs> and so I was waiting. I was like, what, if, what is she going to say? Like, who am I going to call out for being someone that I'm in love with? And it was myself. Man, I was, I was a little prick, wasn't I? Um... Now, just to, for the sake of not being over time with all these videos, I'm going to go to the last video that I want to check in on, and it's the first horror Let's Play that I've ever done. Let me, like, enunciate. The first horror Let's Play that I've ever done. It just sounded funny when I said it just now, and I wanted to make sure that I was saying it correctly. <laughs> Um, which was Let's Play Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and the video that I wanted to watch was the one with the actual most happening, um, but it was still early on, because it's only part seven, so, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, the water monster part. Oh, it got me. It was, like, the worst series for me. Sorry, I had to turn it up a little bit. Also, if the last, the Diablo and the um, personality quiz didn't show up correctly, or didn't sound as loud as they should have, it's because I forgot to turn the sound up, so I'm really sorry. Um, hopefully you guys can hear it well enough. I'll try and fix it in post, but I, I'm not that great at fixing things after it's already been filmed. So I'm so sorry, I'm so, so sorry. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna say this part. Like, this is so tense, because you have to use your mouse to, like, make the little thing turn. And that thing is, like, right behind you, and you cannot turn around and look at it or something. It's gonna get you. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. And I'm messing it up! I can hear it. I can hear it coming. Oh, no. This is when it disappeared, yeah? No, it didn't disappear. It's right there. It's going to eat you.
He's a monster. You're supposed to run. What are you doing now? <laughs> What's happening? I'm behind the door. I don't no, run away. See, it's like right there behind me. Ah! Okay, sorry. I don't like that. It's like right behind you the whole time. Ugh. I'm so sorry. Oh, That's no. <laughs> super scary, man. Okay. And I, if I don't, if I remember correctly, I think I died like six times, but I cut out the other times that I died because I didn't want to seem incompetent. But I'm pretty sure that I died a lot during that. What are you stuck on? Move! Move out of the way! Dude, I'm doing so good. I'm doing so good. Look at me. blowing everything like my mic's like right in front of me now so I'm so sorry if I was really loud stuff like that gets me so much like I should do horror reaction videos because my gosh like lately too like some of them have been getting really good like I used to just jump or maybe every once in a while I might like scream but there was like um one that someone was playing and it was based off of Five Nights at Freddy's Five Nights at Freddy's isn't that scary to me it's like oh you know like a shock like oh but not that scary um however the hiccups uh however um there was one that was based off of it where they're like, they're like walking around i think it was called like joy of creation i know that that is one i just don't know if that's the one that got me but um they're like walking around the house and they can chase you oh uh, and then i was sitting there and i'm like ah because you can hear them, like, don't, 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 like, coming all close, they're going to get you. Oh, it's so scary. I like, oh, it gets me. Every time. Every, every, every time. Or, um, uh, in Alien Isolation, when you can hear, like, the alien, when it catches you, um, and you can hear it, like, running after you, and you hear the footsteps just get louder and louder, and you know that you're not going to get away. Oh, it's the most terrifying thing in the world. But it's awesome. Um, anyways, I think that's a perfect place to... In this episode <laughs> um, I hope you guys really enjoyed it uh, I know it wasn't much but I really wanted to get back in like I don't ever watch my videos really uh, from like once they're posted on YouTube like I don't hardly ever even see them again just because whenever I'm on YouTube I'm usually watching everyone else's videos I'm watching every other thing that I can. I don't pay attention to my own stuff unless someone's commenting or trying to contact me in some way. So I usually don't even deal with my own stuff. But I felt like it was important because, you know, it's like you, you've, we, we've come so far. Oh my gosh, we've come so far. It's insane. So, I mean, it's like seeing little old Jasmine versus me, you know? <laughs> I don't know. It's cool. Um... Anyways, guys, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, if you'd like to see anything else that I've done, you can click on any of the links in the description. Um, and if you're feeling frisky, I don't know why I would say it that way, but, you know, uh, you could always uh, share this video with friends and or just anywhere that you have a place to share it facebook or whatever just give it a share and let other people see how stupid that i can be that'd be awesome too <laughs> anyways guys i hope that you have a really really good weekend wait no sorry this is my weekend i hope you guys have a great week it's my weekend it's your week sorry sorry it's monday anyways guys i love you and i hope to catch you in the next episode bye guys